Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I am always on the hunt for great cards. And today is no different. I'll be hunting through this box. What is this box? What is this item? It is the magic box. And what is this? This strange polyhedral object here. It is a D20. How do these things link? What brings them together? Doing my best William Shatner imitation. It is the dorking box, and we are dorking with dice. We roll this big pink D20, and that corresponds to the 20 packs in this magic box of vintage hockey and vintage baseball today. That's what we'll be going through. 20 packs, actually 21 packs in the box. I'll explain that in a minute, but uh, whatever we roll is whatever we open. That's how it works. It's a lot of fun, and we do it every Friday here on the Card Wolf Network. I put Three especially good packs, four in this case, but three especially good packs in the 1, 10, and 20 spot. And I'll show you what those are, and then we will start rolling up some packs. In the number one spot, I have these 81, 82 packs of Topps Hockey. Why are there two packs? Because these have been in there. Well, one of these packs has been in there since, I think, September, and we have not rolled it. And here it is, nay. The Stanley Cup Finals are, are coming up not very long from now, and... Still, we will have not opened these, so to tempt fate, I added a second pack of these very vintage packs, and still we have not rolled a one, but when we do, I'll be opening both of those packs. In the number 10 spot, we have something I've opened on the channel before. It's Donruss 2002 Originals Baseball, and this is sort of a retro design throwback type -y thing, and I certainly had a good time. I opened about half a box of this, and the other half will be appearing in the magic box throughout the summer. In the number 10 spot, no, the number 20 spot is where we are now. This is 8384 Opeachy Hockey, and this is a great set, one that I like a lot. Not a ton of great rookies in here, but a ton of really great Hall of Famers. Lots of really good cards in here. If we roll a number 20, we will be opening that today. Let's see what our first pack is here on Dorking with dice. Almost had the one there, but instead we get 16. Number 16, we'll count backwards for that. 20, 19, 18, 17, and 16 is a hockey pack. It is Upper Deck Collector's Choice Hockey, in fact. And this is from 96, I believe. 1996. i got to put my spectacles on. I don't know why I don't do that before I start these. Yeah. 1996. Upper Deck Collector's Choice. I've opened this before on the channel, and I really do like these cards. I think they're quite attractive and there are tons of really big names we can pull out of here and then we got a nice nice card starting things off here a nice mvp inserty uh subset type card there very pretty does not have the player's name on there or if it does it's actually very very small it's vitaly yachmenev from the kings very pretty card it sort of has a frosty wintry look to it i like that one a lot and there's another mvp there it is an avalanche goalie. It is Patrick Raw later in his career. That is pretty awesome. That's a nice one there. Very nice uh, Hall of Famer to start things off there. So we'll put that in the Wolf Lair for sure. Then we got Brian Holzinger. As you can see, these cards, I think, have a very nice design. I'll flip uh, this one over, the Sabres card over, and you can see a different photo on the back. Some stats as well. Pretty nice cards. Adam Oates star from that era for sure played for the oilers as well tom barrasso goaltender there very nice card and uh that one is a little bit sticky to the card behind it but not too bad staring poopa from the lightning pretty nice card there as well good goalie there now what do we have here is this is that gretzky no way that is an awesome card and i do not have that one beautiful sticker card of gretzky that is really sweet and pretty nice condition actually these are often quite off-centered or cut in weird ways, and that one's in really pretty shape. That's a great card. Happy to get that one. That's a highlight for me. We got Anatoly Semenov there, the center from, I believe they were still called the Mighty Ducks back then. Not just the Ducks, the way that uh, they eventually came to be known, Marty McGinnis. And behind him, our last card is Marcus Ragnarsson, a defender from San Jose. So not too bad. Uh, thrilled about that Gretzky card. The Patrick Ross certainly is very nice as well. Put Adam Oates on the top of that one and put it back here. Pretty nice pack to start things off on Dorking with Dice. We usually do three or four packs. See how we do today. Here's our next one. It is number seven. All right, we'll count backwards from 10. That is 10, 9, 8, and 7 is a baseball pack. Donruss baseball, in fact. 
And this is 1988, I believe. The red ones, I think, are 1988. So pretty neat to see what we get out of here. 1988 Donruss. Of course, we get a puzzle piece. Donruss did not have bubblegum, thankfully. So we get a puzzle piece of a random Hall of Famer. Who could that be? Who could that be? Is it Musial? I think it might be Musial. It is Stan Musial, or it's supposed to be. That is part of Stan Musial's hip, by the look of it. We'll put that over there. All right, we start things off with Tom Prince looking bewildered. Is, is this the dugout? Am I in the right dugout? Am I on the right side of the field? Tom Prince still finding his way around the ballpark. Pat Basio looks uh, totally confident about where he's going. Kent Tacolve, the uh, sidearm relief pitcher, played for the Pirates for many years, and then the Phillies, good pitcher. Eric Nolte and Terry Poole, good player for the Astros for many years. I always liked Terry Poole, thought uh, he had a chance to be a superstar, never quite happened. Steve Lyons, it looks like he's ready to go surfing, brother. Look at that expression on Steve Lyon's face, man. He would rather be surfing than be out at Comiskey Park. No question about that. Al Leiter, nice rated rookie card there. Al Leiter, good, good effective pitcher for the Yankees for a while. Jeff Russell, and we got Chuck Finley looking extremely serious. Do not cross Chuck Finley, you have been warned. We got Rob McClure, a lot of pitchers in this pack. Craig Cattare and Lonnie Smith, longtime player. I think he came up with the Phillies, as I recall. Tommy Hinzo. Tommy Hinzo? Seriously? I don't remember this guy at all, and I do not remember that card. We have once again stepped into an alternate universe. This often happens on Dorking with Dice. Jeff Hamilton also looking very serious. And Steve Trout, no relation to Mike. That was a bit of a dud of a pack there, but sometimes that's what happens, and that's why we get to roll again. Let's see what our next pack is here on the show today. Almost, almost had number... 20. Man, that was very, very close, but instead we get number 8, and that is very easy to do because it is right here waiting for us. It is Bowman Hockey. I like these a lot. I like Bowman Hockey. I think the uh, photos on here are quite nice. You get a lot of really beautiful portrait shots. The color on these cards is really good. Um, I don't know if they were using like uh, any kind of special film when they shot these photos, but I always really liked them. You get uh, bubblegum in here, unfortunately. These are 1990 cards, and they come in an actual wax pack. always like that, too. Let's uh, show you the gum. I know you guys like to see that. That was a little stuck to that card, but uh, got some a little bit of mold on this gum. We don't see that a lot, but it's pretty clearly there on here. I'm not going to ingest that, and I'm not going to send it to anybody to ingest. That's not how I roll on this channel. All right, so let's flip this over, and we'll start with the insert card. It is a hat trick insert card of Dave Taylor. Dave Taylor, how you vex me on this channel. We've pulled this card before, actually. I feel like we've pulled every Dave Taylor card there is on this channel. We have pulled him a lot in the last couple of months, and uh, pretty sure that's a repeat. Dave Taylor. Sergio Momeso from the Blues right there. We got uh, Peter Stasny with the Devils, came up with the Nordiques, of course. Great, great player, and I believe Stasny is a Hall of Famer. If he's not, he should be. So a wolf layer of that one, always liked him. Jeff Brown and Mark Osborne. Andy Brickley with the Bruins, nice alliteration there. Of course, we got a checklist card, got to have those. Petri Skriko from the Canuck, shout out to Rob at Bucks and Six. Dale Horachuk, another Hall of Famer there, and a very nice card of him with the Jets where he belongs. I know he played for other teams after that, but I always think of him with the Jets. Sylvain Lefay from the Canadiens. Joe Mullen had a long career in the NHL. Good player. Dirk Graham. Dirk Graham? I don't know. Maybe some of you Chicago fans will remember him, but that is a blank in my memory as far as he's concerned. Kelly Miller with the Caps. Sean Cronin. And we finish this one off with Paul Cavallini from St. Louis. All right, not too bad, not too bad. We did get a couple of cards out of that one. Let's roll another pack. We are zipping along here. Opened three packs already, and we are going to open our fourth pack now. What's it going to be? It is going to be almost had number one there. Instead, we get number three. Man, we're getting very close to opening one of those special packs. Been waiting for that one to come up for many, many months. It was sometime last year when we put that pack in the box. That tells you how long it's been. All right, and so instead we get number three. I believe that is a baseball pack as well. It is. It is FLIR 91 baseball. You can look for ProVisions cards out of here, as well as some other nice subsets, but the ProVisions ones are the uh, sort of the inserty type things that go on here. Also get a nice sticker out of these, as I recall. There's our sticker. It is a kind of a an interesting team logo sticker for the Pirates. That's not a logo I feel like I see very much when it comes to the Pirates. Pretty interesting to see that one. And on the backs of these, 
You got the top 10 in the uh, various categories for the Pirates. Willie Stargell led them in home runs. Well, this is career. Oh, I thought this was for the year, but that's in uh, career. So none of that information is actually relevant anymore. But uh, there you go, Pirates. All right, so beautiful bright yellow. Put on your sunglasses. This might be too bright for you. Doug Drabeck and Mike Sosha letting that umpire have it. He's really given that umpire what for. Check that out. Mike Sosha has some opinions about some things there. Pat Borders for the Jays, Lee Guterman. And Keith Brown just having a good time playing catch before the fans show up at the stadium. Keith Brown, fun-loving guy, Gary Ward. And we got Tim Burke, exposed pitcher Brian Holman. And Terry Steinbeck, good catcher there for the A's. I think he also played for the Orioles for a little while. Jason Grimsley, I believe he was the, if I'm not mistaken, son of the uh, pitcher from the 70s, Ross Grimsley, who played for the Orioles briefly. Luis Gonzalez looking absolutely stunned. I'm a baseball player in Houston? I'm at the stadium? This is remarkable. Benny Santiago, there he is. Good player there. I always liked him a lot. Very good catcher. Dave LaPointe and Terry Leach hurling for the Twins. All right, nothing out of there for the uh, for the Wolf Lair, but still, always fun to get into those. I like those yellow borders. Uh, they were very... Uh, people had a lot of strong opinions about those when they first came out back in 91. I remember a lot of people saying that they hated them, that they were the ugliest cards they'd ever seen. I don't know, I always kind of thought they were neat, and I still like them now, honestly. I think they're pretty nice. Let's roll another pack. One more pack today on the channel. Maybe we'll get one of those special packs. 1, 10, or 20. Let's see what we can do here. We get 15. We do not get a 1, 10, or 20, but, but we're going to get something good in the 15 spot. Let's see how we do. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 is Parker's Taki from 93, 94, Series 1, and you can look for Emerald Ice cards in here. Those are kind of the, the big ones that uh, you're looking for. I think you get one in every pack, if I'm remembering correctly. And they also have Parky reprints that you can get out of here as an insert. And I think those are not one in every pack. I think those are a little tougher to get. The odds might be on here. Well, this is another one of those extremely thick foil packs. I'm going to set this one aside because one of these days, I know I say this a lot and I haven't done it yet, but one of these days, you're going to turn on the channel and you're going to think, oh, Cardwolf's going to open some packs today, but instead it's going to be cooking with Cardwolf. Cooking with Cardwolf, and I'm going to be doing some baked potatoes in these really thick 1990s uh, packs. I'll put that one over there so I don't lose it. I've already lost it. I think we already know that. Enrico Siccone from the Caps there. And we know that we'll check for the Emerald Ice. This uh, Silver Parkhurst logo down here will be green in color or emerald. And we'll know that's the one. All right, so these are upside down backwards. It's like you're opening an upper deck pack here. We got uh, Kevin Todd and Jimmy Waite, goalie there for San Jose. And uh, here's a Canucks player, Cliff Ronning. And uh, upside down, we got uh, Todd Ewan from the Ducks. And uh, Whalers player, Dan Ketchmer there. Joe Mullen, I think we've already pulled him once, and that is our Emerald Ice card there. Joe Mullen, you can see uh, it's hard to miss that uh, green glowy uh, Parkhurst logo down there. So that is our Emerald Ice card. Put that one on top. And uh, Rob Niedermeyer, that's a pretty good one there. And that's a Parkhurst Prospects card. So that is a rookie Niedermeyer card. That's actually a really nice one. I'm happy to pull that one. Nothing wrong with that. Niedermeyer, very good player. And uh, I'm not sure I have. I do have his rookie cards, but I don't think I have that one actually now that I'm looking at it. I think that may be a new one for my PC. No complaints about that. Darian Hatcher there, and he looks determined. Look at his determined expression. Darian Hatcher will not be stopped. He's going to get to whatever he's trying to get to there. I have no idea. He's in Minnesota. Steve Decane from the Nordiques. And our last two cards here are uh, Tony Granado and another, uh, sen oh, this is Sensational Sophomore. We got Parkhurst Prospects Niedermeyer, and the sophomore is Joe Juneau from the Bruins, wouldn't you know? See what I did there? Yeah, that's the kind of humor you get here on the Card Wolf Network. It's great quality humor like that. We do it five days a week, every weekday. You can tune in for those kinds of uh, awesome jokes. Rob Niedermeyer, Parkhurst Prospect in the Wolf Lair, as well as Nice Tail Horror Chuck card. And Peter Stastny, neither of whom are wearing their helmets. I'm not sure what's up with that. Beautiful Gretzky sticker card. Really excited about that one. And a nice Patrick Raw. MVP 
card as well. So pretty good cards for the PC today. Not too bad. Hope you guys enjoyed the rips, and I appreciate you stopping by the channel. Hope you have a great weekend, some good stuff planned. I'll see you back here on Monday, and we will get into uh, get into some mail on Monday. We do Mail Day Mondays, and that's going to happen again. So look forward to that. It is a package from one of you awesome people. I don't know what I did to get such amazing, amazing viewers as I have with all of you guys, but I'm very, very grateful for each and every one of you. Have a great weekend, and as always, happy collecting.